from NBC News World Headquarters in New York. This is NBC Nightly News. One of the wildest, wildest events in all of sports is the Olympic bobsled run. Fast, bone-rattling, and dangerous. A favorite contender for this winter's Vancouver Games had to overcome what could have been a career-ending challenge. He was going blind. NBC's Peter Alexander has the story. Barreling down an ice-covered track at upwards of 80 miles an hour, bobsledding demands razor-sharp hand-eye coordination. Remarkably, driver Steve Holcomb has raced to the top of his sport, even though for years he could barely see. I'm not really looking at the track. I'm feeling and sensing everything else that's going on around me, the way the sled is moving. Holcomb was quickly losing his sight due to a rare degenerative eye condition called keratoconus. And as this 29-year-old's vision faded, so did his dreams of Olympic gold. You get to the point where they're sorry, you know. I mean, we can't, you can't wear glasses, you can't wear contacts, there's nothing you can do, you're just going to go blind. Still, this Park City, Utah native kept challenging his otherwise cruel fate, perfecting his skills on the course by feel, not sight, until he told teammates it was too dangerous for him to continue. We knew it was bad, we knew it was getting worse, but we didn't quite know the full extent. The U.S. Bobsled Federation and Holcomb's teammates, the so-called night train, wouldn't let him quit, even paying $15,000 for a recently developed treatment, still awaiting FDA approval. They were the advocates for Steve, and they kind of refused to take the conventional answer, which was invasive surgery, as their solution. The procedure is called C3R, with vitamin drops and a small dose of ultraviolet light used to strengthen Holcomb's corneas. Then, a contact lens was inserted into each eye, restoring Steve Holcomb's sight. It was just like that. I mean, it was a matter of 10 minutes. I went from 2,500 to, to 2,020, and it was pretty incredible. Just a year later, this past spring, the night train, piloted by an eagle-eyed driver, became the first American four-man team in years to win a world championship. It's huge. I've never been involved in anything remotely close to this, and uh, it's by far the highlight of my life. Less than three months till the Vancouver Games, Steve Holcomb's Olympic dream is finally in focus. Peter Alexander, NBC News, New York.